The following content has been provided by RWTH Aachen University. Okay, so about the, the topics of the class. The class is designed uh, to have three um, stages, so to speak. Um, and the, uh, at first, we were talking a little bit about the, the cognition. So what, how does the human work? How does, um, uh, well, how, how fast can you, can you um, do things? And um, also give you uh, a vocabulary to, to talk about different processes. So um, uh, if you have to, uh, when you have to describe something, what you can, uh, how can you do this so it's uh, understandable? Um, this is about yeah, affordances, mappings, constraints. Where does the knowledge uh, lie? So when I'm able to do something, was it because I remembered this or because the product told me to do this? Um, and also, what, what sorts of errors does uh, um, uh, people do when, when interacting with technology? And also offer you uh, sort of design principles. What is good design? What is bad design? In the history part, we are um, uh, yeah, on the one side looking at the, the existing interfaces or the existing developments um, up until now, um, but also what, what sort of visions are there, what will come in the future, what could come in the future, and what, how or, uh, does this impact um, our uh, understanding of HCI. Um, and also the, the phases of technology. I mean, you, you should have seen a, a product when it was first introduced and what it looks like 10 years later has changed rapidly, and what sort of steps does this follow? And in the um, uh, last part, we're talking about the design process. So how do I get from my idea to the pro uh, project? So there we'll talk about the iterative design, going over things um, repeatedly when you, when you get feedback, um, how you observe users, how do you see what, what do they need, um, how to you create your ideas, how you can um, prototype something. So going from very low, just paper-based versions to more sophisticated screen-based um, prototypes and software prototypes, how we can mimic the look and feel of your system. And this also includes then user studies and the evaluation and how I could write down my, uh, uh, my interaction with the system, so the design notations. The following content has been provided by RWTH Aachen University.